Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. I bought a new lathe. Yeah. There's children screaming in, in happiness and joy about me buying a new lathe out in the street. My buddy Mark is here. He's going to help me get it out of the back of the truck because it's significantly heavier than I am capable of dealing with, probably, with my back issues and whatnot. And, uh... We're going to take it out of the box to set it up and have a look, and I will talk a little bit about why it was the choice that I made over all of the possible options. You want to make a little bit more noise over there, Mark? Or... Sure. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's go get it. New late day. All right, so I went with the Laguna Revo 1216. I was uh, I was originally going to go with the Rikon uh, MIDI lathe. I don't remember the model number of it. I'll put it up on the screen or something somewhere. Uh, but it got discontinued. It was about uh, $650, and that was about where I wanted to be. Uh, but it got discontinued, and the one they replaced it with was $975. So at that point, I uh, was looking around and I was checking out the 1216 Laguna Revo for just a little bit more. And I will explain to you why I went with that once we get all these parts out of here. So let's, uh, let's get into it. We'll see uh, what I got. And then we'll talk about why I got it. Yes! I got a manual! That's probably free. Alright, we got two right on the top. We got two spurs. We got probably some feet. There's our faceplate. It's just a little guy. That's okay though. It's hefty. Got our knockout block and a bar with a fancy red coating on it. Some bonus styrofoam. Mark's gonna have to help me get it down off the bench so I can take it out of the box. So let's uh <laughs> uh. all right so setup was super easy it literally it just comes with four feet that you just attach to the body you tip it over attach the feet and it's ready to go you plug it in and get turning uh like you say it does it's got two onboard little spur holder spots on the tail stock I wiped it all down real quick with uh, some mineral spirits to get the shipping oil and stuff off of it. Uh, it looks fantastic on my new lathe cabinet, <laughs> I gotta say. Uh, and it is a hearty, hearty piece of machinery. Like, this thing is not as big as it looks. It's, it, it looks really small for how heavy it is. Like, this, this is a heavy-duty piece of equipment for the size, for sure. Uh, we are now going to have a look at the extension. The, the main reason I got this one over the Rikon is because you can get a, an extension for it that can go on either side to add 10 inches to the length of the spindle you can turn or to mount down here to give you an extra two inches of depth to turn on the outboard side, which allows you to do a 16 inch bowl, which 
is going to be super cool to screw up. Uh, but let's uh, let's get into the extension and we'll see what comes with it and we'll get it mounted up and I'll show you the whole thing all put together. I'm very, very happy <laughs> in case that's not clear. <laughs> all right, so this is the uh, bed extension. It comes with the 10 inch extension and the extra arm knuckly piece part that you move your tool rest over onto uh, as well as some kind of adapter deal. But, I don't know why you need an adapter dealing. We're gonna find out. And this extension, I thought was worth the price for, I think it was $200. And I got a 10% discount on the whole thing because Laguna was having a 10% discount month. So we'll talk about the total cost at the conclusion of the video. Here's our little adapter piece. Not sure what it's for or why I need it, but we will find out shortly. It's also covered in packing oil. So I got my mineral spirit cloth here. Some more bonus foam. Oh, this is heavy too. It's almost like cast iron is heavy or something. Yeah, we'll get all this oil stuff off and then we will get it mounted up. And this one doesn't come with a manual, so it should be pretty self-explanatory, I hope. Unless I missed it, nope. All right, 10 inches of additional capacity to the end of the lathe to make it into 26 inches of spindle length. But I am gonna put it on the outboard side to give myself two extra inches of bowl turning capacity. At least to start. Oh, this one's super gooey. Uh, unnecessary, Laguna. Ugh, unnecessary. But I guess it's better than it being rusty. <laughs> All right, let's rig it up and uh, we'll go over the whole unit. Ow, that corner's sharp. Alright, I got it all set up. This bed is a... We're, we're going to talk about this in a little bit. That's that's a hassle. Uh, but I got a chunk of maple chucked up there. I'm going to pretend like I'm turning some kind of tool handle and spin it up for the first time and then we'll talk about what I think. So far. So far, so good, I think. Unless it doesn't spin when I press the button. <laughs> I suppose that's possible. Uh, yeah, we'll go over initial thoughts after I, uh, after I put a sharp piece of something into some wood. Let's go.
Okay, so I've been working with the 1216 Laguna Revo lathe for just about a month now. Uh, it's a, it's, we've fast forwarded a month, <laughs> but I wanted to, I wanted to put some time into it before I got into the nitty gritty and gave it any sort of, uh, review. It's not really a review, uh, but this is my first impressions and first month worth of use. I have, I've made a few things. I made some bowls on it to give the big maple guy here this. You know, they, I've been putting it through some work. So these are the things upon first month that I am impressed with and not impressed with. We'll do the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, the good it is a heavy, well-made piece of machinery. You can tell that it was manufactured very precisely uh, and is a, uh, it's a good heavy duty piece of equipment. Uh, it's a plug and play. You pull it out of the box, you plug it into the wall. If you didn't buy the extension, you can click the button and just make it go. So the, that's great. The belt changes are easy to go between gears, to go from low torque, low torque, high speed to high speed, high torque, low speed. It's to get this cool little cam action thing. It makes the belt changes really easy to go between, uh, between torque speed levels. Um, the speed adjust is really nice, just a, and it's pretty fine uh, changes. And yeah, it's just it, mostly really good. The bad, so we're gonna do good, bad, and ugly. The bad is the extension is a huge hassle to put on. Um, we fought with it for half an hour probably before we could get the tailstock to ride evenly along the thing. But then I watched a video after the fact of a guy that just like, he just clamped down the tailstock over the two things and then tightened the bolts and it worked fine for him. So maybe that was so the solution. They don't give you any Allen keys. You need Allen keys to put the feet on and for the um, outboard side thingy, uh, adapter deal and you're buying a thousand dollar lathe from Laguna and they won't give you the 50 cents worth of Allen keys with it to do the stuff that's not real cool uh and another a finicky little nitpicky thing but the decals the deckling the branding on it is super cheaply applied like it feels like like stickers you get out of the vending machine at the grocery store like I actually had to go over them all and like burnish them down to keep them from coming off. Uh, yeah, that's not great. So the good, the bad, and now the ugly. There is nothing ugly <laughs> about this lathe. It is a ridiculously attractive piece of equipment and it is a welcome addition to my shop. So I'm gonna keep having fun on my lathe. That's, uh, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And if you like what I do here, I got a Patreon page you can go support at patreon.com slash wooden things and stuff. And that'll help me keep me, 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 that'll, yeah, that'll, me, me, me. That's what it'll do. It'll help me keep making these videos. <laughs> and you probably don't want to now because I can't even speak. Look at it. I'm not going to give that guy money. He can't even talk right. <laughs> anyway, see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching.